It's a popular beverage that's set to help with everything from gut health to detoxification and more. But even if you've seen it at your local grocery store, chances are you might have trouble saying it. Kombucha. Kombucha. Kombucha, maybe? Kombucha? Kombucha. Kombucha. Trenton Kaminsky founded the Kombucha Company in Richmond and says kombucha was brought into his life by a friend, and he eventually researched how to make it himself. I started making kombucha in a spare bedroom in my house. Uh, from there, kind of went into the garage and also had a rainwater system that I was using for our garden, which we had a, an aquaponic system. It's where you can grow uh, fish and plants at the same time. So then I learned how to purify rainwater and integrated that into the kombucha. So we use purified rainwater for all of our kombucha now. You may be wondering, what exactly is kombucha and how is it made? The simplest way to know kombucha is, is a probiotic. So probiotics help with boosting immune and regulating digestion. Now, kombucha is literally fermented tea. That's it, very simple. Uh, so you have to think of like sourdough, like a sourdough bread, uh -huh. how you need a starter culture. Okay. Kombucha is very much like that. That starter culture is also known as a SCOBY or symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, which is also called a mother. Once blended with sweet tea, you wait seven to 10 days for it to turn into kombucha. The kombucha company has their own SCOBY farm and they brew kombucha in-house. This is where it happens. These are two 300 gallon glass lined vessels. So they look, they are metal on the outside, but they're glass on the inside. And the way we brew, we brew continuously, which that means we'll only take about 20%, about this much per week. Then we add more on top and every week we get to do that. With a variety of flavors on tap, from peach to cherry, and even seasonal watermelon, the kombucha company has something for everyone. And if you're worried about the taste, Trenton has some advice for you. Wherever you're trying it, if it's with us or with someone else, you want to ask them for like an introductory flavor, which we make some introductory flavors too. And if it's not, um, for lack of better words, your cup of tea, just try another one. Try, try a few others, because all kombuchas taste different, just like beers and wines all taste different. So if you don't like one, you might like Have a different fun. one. Have fun. Cheers. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Steph. Uh, you know, ours is really good. It is right? good. Yeah. I have the yerba, I think. And I have, have the, the ginger. The ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm. Very nice. If you'd like to stop in, we have to do a little taste test yeah. for a tour of the Kombucha Company. It's open Tuesday through Sunday. And as a reminder, the special deal they have for Houston Life viewers, if you buy two 16-ounce bottles of kombucha, you get one free when you mention you saw them on Houston Life. For more info, just visit kombuchacompany.com.